Hi, yeah, Jake here. Um, today we're gonna do something that I usually won't do. Something involved with sports. Have we ever done it before? Let's see. Well, Unless jumping in a pool is a sport, then no, I haven't. <laughs> that makes perfect sense here. Wait, have I? I think I might have done it. Oh, Ben's playing a game. He's playing Stare Dismount. The dumbest game in the world. And here's the birthday. The boy. Marcus Zuzo. Okay. Well, anyways, what I'm actually going to do is NFL 2014 to 2015 season and playoff predictions. And I'm not doing the things where I show all of the couple of things on the screen, because that takes a lot of work. And I don't really know how to do that. What? I'm only nine. It's not like I know everything in the computer. I know how to make a YouTube channel and a Google account. Blah, 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 blah. I'm only nine years old, so we don't know how to do all that stuff. So, anyways, let's go tell them. start with the AFC. AFC South. I think the um, Houston Texans will win the division going 10 and 6. 10 wins, 6 losses. 2 will be the Indianapolis Colts going 9 and 7, missing the playoffs. 3 will be the Titans going 6 and 10, missing the playoffs, of course. And 4 will be the Jaguars, 4 and 12, missing the playoffs. AFC East, number one will be the Patriots, going 11 and 5, definitely making it to the playoffs. Two will be the Dolphins, 8 and 8, missing the playoffs. Three will be the Bills, 6 and 10, missing the playoffs. And four will be the New York Jets, going 6 and 10, also missing the playoffs. AFC North, the Bengals will go 10 and 6 and win it all, go to the playoffs. Two will be the Steelers, 8 and 8. And probably won't go to the playoffs. Three will be the Ravens going seven and nine, missing the playoffs, and four will be the Browns going four and twelve, missing the playoffs. AFC West number one will be the Broncos going twelve and four, making the playoffs. Two will be the Chiefs going ten and six, also making it to the playoffs. Three will be the Chargers going nine and seven. Also making the playoffs, and four will be the Raiders going five and eleven, missing the playoffs. And if you self will be the Saints going eleven and five, making it to the playoffs. Two will be the Panthers going nine and seven, just missing the playoffs. Three will be the Buccaneers going eight and eight, missing the playoffs, and four will be the Falcons going six and ten, missing the playoffs. NFC East, one will be the Philadelphia Eagles going 9-7, and seven, making the playoffs. Two will be the Redskins going 8-8, eight and eight, missing the playoffs. Three will be the Cowboys, 7-9, and nine, missing the playoffs. Four will be the Giants, same thing, 7-9, missing the playoffs. NFC West, the San Francisco 49ers. I don't know why I'm saying it like that. It's not even my favorite team. If you want to know where I live, I live in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and my favorite team is the Philadelphia Eagles. So, and I do think they're going to make it to the playoffs. They do have pretty good players. So, um, yeah. And the see West will be the number one, the 49ers, going 12 and 4, making it to the playoffs. Two will be the Seahawks, 11 and 5, making it to the playoffs. 
Real League Cardinals, so I'm 10 and 6, just missing the playoffs. Wait, dee dee dee, and then 10 And then 4 will be the Rams, going 6 and 10, missing the playoffs as well. And if the North will be the number 1, the Packers, going 13 and 3, making it to the playoffs. 2 will be the Bears, going 10 and 6, actually making it to the playoffs for the first time in a long time. Well, I don't know the last time the Bears made the playoffs, but. Three will be the Lions going nine and seven, missing the playoffs. And four will be the Vikings going eight and eight, missing the playoffs. And here's the playoffs: AFC, one seed Broncos, two seed Patriots, three seed Chiefs, four seed Bengals, five seed Texans, six seed Chargers. NFC playoffs: one seed Packers, two seed Forty Niners. 3 seed Saints, 4 seed Eagles, 5 seed Seahawks, and 6 seed Bears. AFC games. Chargers versus Chiefs, the Chiefs will win. Bengals versus Texans, the Texans will win. Chargers versus Broncos, Broncos will win. Texans versus Patriots. This one was a pretty hard one, but the Patriots are a pretty good team. The Texans have good players, and I think they could win. So, they're making them win. Texans versus Broncos, and the Broncos will, of course, make it to the Super Bowl. And I see playoff games. Saints versus Bears. Saints will win. Eagles versus Seahawks. I know you think the Seahawks will win. And I asked my uncle, and he said, the Eagles were the higher seed, so they would probably be one. I was like, fine. So I just put it down. This is probably not going to happen, but it's pretty close. Packers versus Saints. Packers, 49ers versus Eagles or Seahawks. Because the Seahawks would probably make it, but the Eagles could make it. So either way, 49ers versus Seahawks or Eagles, and the 49ers would win either way, either team. And the Super Bowl would be the Broncos versus the 49ers. Who do you think will win? Thanks. Oh yeah, in my opinion on the Super Bowl, I think the 49ers could win because Payne Manning lost to the Seahawks even though they were way better, not a way better team, but they were, the Broncos were a better team, but they apparently didn't do so good. So maybe they're not too good in the Super Bowl games, so I think they could lose because the 49ers have pretty good players, I mean, you know, so I think the 49ers could win, but the Broncos could also have their payback for the Super Bowl people, well, I don't know, well, thanks for um, watching, and uh, I'll see you sometime soon, because some is coming, and that means I can like, make way more YouTube videos, because I'm not allowed to play them. I'm not allowed to make YouTube videos or do anything on an electronic on weekdays. Well, today I'm doing it, and Monday I did it because this week is the last week of school, so my mom's letting me do it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Maybe the next day.